meet our production requirements, we had to find a gantry that was sturdy and rigid. Nothing fit our demands. There wasn't anything on the market. Let's take a look at our new gantry, one specifically built to our demands, our requirements. Fermat's new gantry. Now the beauty of this machine is its symmetry. It's built in mirror form. It's got two double columns on each side and two cross rails with a headstock situated in between. The ram stroke is 1.6 meters and the spindle extension is an additional meter. Now each column rides along a saddle that's 3.7 meters long. Each one has two linear guideways with 10 carriages on each one, so 10, 20, 30, 40 carriages on four linear guideways along an x-axis that's 28 meters long. Not bad. It's my stop. Now another neat trick is that the robot tool changer with 140 tools and the doghouse are both built into the column. So it moves along whenever you need it. It's there at a hand's reach, or rather a robot's arm's reach. And as you can see, it pulls out the doghouse, then the headstock comes down, and there you go. Pops on the milling head, and you go on with your milling, all in one setup. So what can we do? We can do milling, machining, grinding, and laser hardening. And you can work on one piece while another piece is being reset. We use this to make the pieces that go into our WRF series floor type horizontal boring mills, extremely precise pieces. This is a saddle for a CNC tilting rotary table that can hold up to 80 metric tons. Now the x-axis is 28 meters long. You have 5.2 meters between each column. You have 13 motors total. You got four in one column, four in the other, and two for each cross rail, plus one motor for the ram stroke with a ball screw. 